y'all. Welcome back to the pink envelope. I am in love with today's theme of love. I have been wanting to decorate for Valentine's, but if you've been hanging around on any of my social media or even in my unboxings, I'm having a hard time finding good Valentine's decor stuff. I legitimately do not know what I would do if I did not have my subscription boxes because they come in tried and true, completely stress-free to me. And then typically I run out to stores and pick up a few things. I have gone to two different home goods twice and there is not one item of Valentine's home decor. There's a party, it was a little bit of party at one of the locations, the other locations had nothing Valentine's. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, went up to Hobby Lobby, party, party decor, but not stuff you can decorate with the staple. So I said, okay, I can't be the only one experiencing this. And you guys confirmed that I am not the only one experiencing this. So today we're gonna decorate my entry, a dining table, a tiered tray in this spot right here using items found around my home and my home decor subscription boxes. I literally went out and bought absolutely nothing for this video. So I guess you could say, Valentine's home decor on a budget. We're gonna be repurposing some items that are completely out of their normal space. Some of these items are old that we're bringing back to life and others just came in my home decor subscription boxes that are brand new. I got my holiday haul in. I have some past items from a ready festive. I have some past items from white home woods. I have my brand new free spirit bundle February box that I'll be putting in here. If you guys want to check that box out, I just unboxed it and I did. I remembered to contact them before getting on this video to confirm they have inventory and they do, but only a little bit. Every single box they've ever done has sold out. And so if you want to snag one of those, you're going to want to move now, like very quickly, because she does have limited inventory and you can see that full unboxing up here. I'll link it for you guys to check out. It's in the description below. So uh, let's start decorating. I will put below in the description the URLs to the boxes that I, was, I used throughout here. And then I'll tell you which items came for what box as we decorate. So of course, Let's set the mood. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of music in the background and definitely a candle, which I've already lit over here. I grabbed my Vela box. Um, I think this is actually the January candle. The crushed salt and mist smells so good, so clean, so fresh, which I think like comes into play really well with this white. So this is lit. I'm gonna put it right down here. If you're like, hey, that looks really familiar, that is because this garland and that wreath is the White Home Woods Winter Box. So I had up some other things during Christmas and as soon as Christmas ended, I put up this wreath and this garland. Garland, why does that sound weird? It is a garland, it's greenery, it's faux greenery swag. Uh, just for that transition time. And then I thought I was gonna replace it whenever Valentine's came along and I realized Adding in pops of pink and red look so good with this white base. So you'll see these glitter hearts. I bought these probably 10 years ago at Hobby Lobby. Every year I put a piece of tape on them and I stick them up there or I stick them down here or I dance them along here. They've been on the kids' doors, like when they walk in their bedroom, they've been on there. These guys are very, very reusable and we have them up there. You're also gonna notice so I uh, like the candy hearts. There's one there and there's one there. Let me run and grab this guy. These are also from Hobby Lobby. I'm hoping y'all can see there is like mud and dirt and stain. You can see wear on here. I've had these probably 10 years as well. I mean, truly forever. And they've been used outdoors more than they've been used indoors, but they do bounce back and forth. Once again, sticking with that theme of Valentine's on a budget, not because I want to be on a budget, just because like home decor stores are putting me on a budget. I have taken these guys and tucked them in here. So let me show you, I literally just did this. Super simple, nothing fancy. You could trim this stem if you wanted to right here. I don't want to because I reuse these over and over. So I have another idea to decorate to block where that's poking down. But I feel like already this is so cute. And I literally am using my White Home Woods Christmas box and some leftover stuff I found around the house. So let me show you what I have in mind for covering up this stem that is poking down right there. 
Where did I put it? It's an oldie but a goodie. Most of you are gonna recognize this piece. The metal envelope. I have been decorating with this metal envelope since 2019. Y'all have seen this everywhere. It's been indoors, it's been outdoors. It's hung on my front door. It's been propped on shelves. It is a really universal piece. So I just went to the store a couple of years ago. Once again, I'm repurposing these items and found three Valentine's cards that I saw, thought were super, super cute. I kept the envelopes, kept everything. I literally taped them on here and then I'm just gonna prop it up. Stems covered. Now, if you wanted to put a riser underneath it so the envelope comes up a little higher, you absolutely could. Uh, I did it this time. I love the letters popping out. And I seriously think I've been decorating with these cards for three years now. I love when elements pull together like that. So great. So I want to start balancing out the ends. And so we invested in this piece a couple years ago. I don't know about you guys. If you have kiddos, I want to like dive into this real quick. So I have an eight year old and 11 year old. Um, and unicorns have been our jam for years, like literally the past eight to 11 years, they have been like our everything. And then last year, unicorns are out. All unicorn stuff is supposed to be gone. This mama's heart is so sad. It's so sad. I love that we had unicorns everywhere. So we've had this guy for a few years, not real long, maybe two or three years. And I love him, but my kids were like, hey, I thought you got rid of all unicorn stuff. And I was like, well, this is mom's unicorn. This isn't your unicorn. So I'm keeping it because I think it is so cute and sassy. Of course, it reminds me of like when they were little, but have y'all walked through that? Have y'all done that? It is like so surreal for something that's been around to just disappear. I would love for y'all to comment below. M mom, boy moms and girl moms. I'm hearing the same thing from my boy mom friends that they're like, no more insert whatever they were into. And I'm like, why, why? So I like her just sitting on the edge right there. She looks super cute. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. This tea came in my Shabby Lane t-shirt subscription this month. If you wanna see that full unboxing and hear all about it, you can go up here. But it's just a t-shirt subscription, a cheap one, an under $25 t-shirt subscription. You get the t-shirt and you get a gift. And so yeah, I am super loving it. Y'all know me and my themes. It worked out so good. Oh, here. This is the outdoor kitty, who's now an indoor kitty. And then I have these guys right here. So y'all know me, I leave tags on stuff so that I can remember to tell you where these came from. These are from the Round Top Collection. Uh, if you're not familiar, I have put a link down below, but they create a lot of metal and light pieces that go outside or inside. So this particular heart right here, I don't know if I bought this as a set, or if this is the price for it individually. But the price tag says $84. And I have owned this for 10 years or more. This could be pushing 12, 13, 14. And I, sometimes I plug them in and I use the light. Sometimes I use the crossbar and I hang it. And sometimes I just set them like this. They're extremely universal. And that's one of those things, I guess kind of like investing in some of these subscription boxes where when I was spending the money, I was like, is this crazy town? Like, am I gonna get my dollars worth? And yeah, $84, at least 10 years worth of use. I would say I've more than got my dollars worth. I have another one, here we go. I was like, I have another one. So let's see, this got the tag, the round top collection. So this one was 134, so it wasn't a set. 84 and 134 over 10 years ago. But I can't say if you've ever looked at the Round Top Collection items, I highly, highly recommend them. They are made so well. They're built to last. They're very adaptable. I had this big pumpkin one out in the yard and it completely patinaed, it rusted, all on the edge. And it looked so cute after 10 years of being in the yard and sprinklers hitting it. And I was like, I don't know how they do it. I'm just glad that they did. So I do have those linked down below. But I wanna put, y'all know me, I like to build things out. I don't like things to sit. Now my husband would call this design right here, done. He would be like, this is so perfect. He'd probably move the envelope closer to her. But he would basically say, the simplicity of this makes his heart sing. Not me. I, I just, more is more. You know what I mean? 
So I have a few more items I wanna add in. Another baby that I wanna put down here. That one's a little mouse wearing a heart sweater. I don't remember which box, this, it's just a white base came in. Like it's got a handle or a picture, it's a picture. I've got some blooms that don't even necessarily match. They're kind of a mix match, but they coordinate well. And one more of those Hobby Lobby hearts. in this guy here, I want to continue with the color palette, but I want to continue adding varying heights as well, and I'm loving that. Let me grab, I have from Ready Festive, oh, this is from last year, so it's not this year. So if you go down below and you use that link, um, A, I didn't confirm inventory or ship dates with them, but this is from my box last year, so yeah. Love. I've got a lot of love up in this space. Even those cards say love on them. I generally, I like hearts. I do like the shape of hearts. Like you can see my necklace here. I have several things. I have rings that have hearts on them. But I don't typically like words like love. Like I don't like words on shirts. I don't typically like letters like this. But dadgum and a good holiday themed saying, it, it gets me every time. Like I love this. But uh, like I wouldn't wear like a shirt. Oh, you can watch a Wantable. Watch my Wantable unboxings. The last one I just did, I'll link that one up here, is hilarious. So I got rid of a shirt because it says something like positive energy, which, right, that's an amazing statement. But I just, yeah, I only do words when they're in theme for a holiday. Am I alone? Surely I'm not alone. Love, got some more love. <laughs> Maybe I'm taking the love thing too far. No, I don't know. Jonathan would say I am. But this is a sign I got from Hobby Lobby literally a million years ago. Y'all, I've had this for forever. It's going to layer it right there. Once again, big focus for me is depth and height. I like layers to move. And then in my holiday haul box that I just got, I got these coasters and they are so cute. So it is marble and wood coasters and they're in the shape of hearts. I love them so much. So right here, y'all can't see it, but right here is the coffee table in the living room. That's what my Vela Box candle is on right now. I'm gonna put these heart-shaped candle uh, coasters right by my candle. Perfect, and then, oh, so, that's the kids' blankets. Y'all know we're throw blanket lovers around here. And that is a new piece I just got from the Target that's a big, big, big basket. Uh, they can throw like their blankets in and out, also pillows. So like they have these pillows that we got in the third and main, goodness gracious. One of the third and main boxes from last year, I don't remember. Looks so cute stacked in here. Let me get the other one because it looks so cute. So you literally could do both of those pillows just tossed in and the kids come grab the pillow, the blanket, they lay down. Or you could just do one and add in something of a different color, like I have this pink pillow here, and move on. So whatever is your cup of tea, but it's very easy for the kids to clean up and put up because they're just responsible to toss the blanket in and set the pillow on top. No folding, it is super kid friendly. And then this candle came in my Free Spirit Bundle February. That's the box that they have a little bit of inventory left. Um, it smells so good. I still haven't lit it because it smells so good. It kind of seems pointless. I have this sitting in my office. It smells super, super good. And the base is like a wood or coconut shell that's reusable. So once the, you burn all the wax out, so when it's hot, you could just pour it out. I plan on reusing this to hold like paper clips or um, clothespins or whatever in my office. This smells so, 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 so good. And that's it. I'm leaving it right here. I did have, do y'all remember my tassel garland? I made it by stripping down ribbon and then making the ribbons into bundles and then hanging them on a string. I did have that underneath here and Jonathan walked in and was like, no, no. It's gorgeous, but it's too much. And he literally took it down. So that's fine. He's probably right. I just want to put up all the things. So I'm loving the way this looks. I do want to, bump over though to my kitchen where my tiered tray is. It sits in there right in the space where we like to do homework and where we cook and it just makes the space so inviting and it has a love theme as well.
Okay, let's talk tier trays. So I have to admit, tier trays are new for me. I only started doing them in the last couple of years. And at first I was like, I don't really know how I feel about this. And now I have three. Surely I'm not alone. <laughs> They're fun. They're happy. If you don't want to decorate a whole house, like you don't want to get caught up in all of that. You literally could just do this and it brings so much joy to a space. So I keep this like, here's the bar. That's the living room. The kitchen's over there. So it's like right between so it can be enjoyed by everyone. I love it. And this, I don't remember where the tiered tray came from, but everything on this is a mix of just favorite subscription boxes, old and new. So once again, I've purchased nothing. I pulled things from around my house and things I got in my new subscription boxes. So this came from the new holiday haul that we just got. And this is one of those pieces that since it's stacked like a puzzle, like you could use part of it here, part of it somewhere else. This is a very universal piece. And I did have it like this for a bit. Then I think the kids must have popped the heart back in because they've been playing with it. So I've got that from my holiday haul. This came in my holiday haul. There's a set of these pillows on here that match the dish towels that I got, which are so cute. Uh, I don't remember where this little wreath came from, but it's super cute and it's all the right colors. Uh, I've had this little guy for forever. And then this is the, um, I forgot the type of plant it is, uh, that came in a third and main box and it came with something else in third and main. And then I put it on here to act like her hair and was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So then I just tucked it under here. And you'll see there's a bunch of these little hearts everywhere. Like they're just scattered throughout. This came in my ready festive box last year. And so ready festive also sends like holiday haul, uh, really cute seasonal decor. Once again, I don't know if they have anything in stock, but uh, candles come in the holiday haul boxes. And I love that. And as you've noticed, I've done candles all throughout. I am digging it. So typically I put it on the tiered tray with the lid off and you can enjoy the scent in the space, but it does start to fade. And when it does start to fade, I leave the lid up here, put the candle down on the counter, light it, use it, enjoy it. When I'm done, I blow it out, I put the lid on and I put it up here and I store it typically on the tear tray because I have a little bitty house and I can't have like stuff everywhere. So I design my candles into this little space here. My X and O from my holiday haul, they're separate pieces, super cute. I have them up here. I have a, <laughs> and I, I have the O not sitting upright. I have it tilted at an angle and I'm using these beads that came in my last box from Holiday Haul. Um, mid season, like they do this like pop-up box of mixed holidays and it's at a lower rate and they go super fast. And I got one and been using that throughout this. There's the other pillow. Here's one of the dishcloths. I folded it and put it on the tray and in this gnome that I'm sure I got it like Hobby Lobby or Home Goods forever ago. I sat in there and he looks super cute. We got some more love. I think this pillow came in my last year Ready Festive box. And I think this also came in my last year Ready Festive. So if you're looking for, oh, and this guy, I wanted to plug this guy in somewhere outside of there. So it's wood on one side and red on the other. So you could choose. So I could tuck it in like right here and let it sit as a part of maybe creating a trio there. I like my tiered trays really, really full. Or, let me turn this one more time. I can plug it in amongst my flowers. These flowers are the same flowers y'all have been seeing me decorate with from Hobby Lobby for years. And so, yeah, I, there's no wrong way to decorate a tiered tray. It can overflow, it can go tall, it can go wide. Um, also, it can never be too empty or too full. Just stick on there, whatever you want. And remember, you're not married to anything. This gets changed all the time. Like, I would be shocked if this is still up here in a week, because the kids are gonna see it and shuffle it, or I'm gonna see it and shuffle it. And I put practical items like my candles and my dishcloths on here. So I'll roll up, the other two are already in the wash. But I got three dishcloths in my last holiday haul box. I'll tuck them in right here and then when we need them, we just pull them out and use them. It's super great for storage. So I would love to know, do you have a tear tray or two or three or four? And do you rotate them for holidays? Do you find it difficult to do tear trays or is it pretty simple? Cause you can kind of just do whatever you want. It's like super open to interpretation. So let me know what you're, look, I'm already moving it. 
I mean, it looks cute like that. Look, I'm digging that, like a shadowing effect. I don't know, I'm telling you, it's gonna get moved a bunch. But I would love to know what you're doing with your tear tray. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm incorporating showing more tiered tray designs because we have so many boxes that do so good at this, but it also can go up on a shelf, it can go on a, tr a regular tray, it can go on an entryway table. So I'm gonna try to show more versatility in these items. Um, where should we go next? Let's go play on my dining room table. Y'all are gonna notice it's in a different location than normal. I don't know if I like it or, well, I do, I do like it. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to film it over there or not, but we're about to find out. Who can guess what room my table is in? <laughs> it's clearly not in my normal dining area. That is filled with plants. So, in Texas, winter looks a bit like this. Zero degrees, 70 degrees. 20 degrees, 70 degrees. 30 degrees. 70 degrees and so I typically just bring my plants in and in my alcove where the dining room table normally is, is those banquet of windows I put my plants in front of there and they chill there so then they don't freeze when our Texas weather like loses its ever loving mind and decides oh yeah it's freezing outside so I brought my table in here and sat it in the entryway so like my front door is there obviously you can see that back there it's been so fun I am gonna throw out some decor here obviously very cognizant of the items I'm putting out match my entry right here in the tiered tray in the mantles back here. I did something I've never done before. Once again, right, we're working on a limited supply of decor. I put, grabbed a vase, put a cup, like a drinking cup, in the bottom down here, and you can see the edge of it. I tried to leave it where you could see some. Went to the store, bought four bags of $2.83 Sweethearts and pour them around the outside. Grab these same flowers y'all have seen me use from Hobby Lobby a million times and put them in. And that's my centerpiece. It was, I guess, I can't say I didn't spend any money. I did spend 283 times four. <laughs> and here's my centerpiece. And then I went and grabbed past items. So let me just decorate this table really quickly with you. You're gonna see how simple it is, how kid friendly it is, but yet still so happy. simple and once again using things I have around the house from past subscription boxes so this is free spirit bundle and I think these rings came from third in Maine I'll pop it up down below for sure these napkins I got for my wedding <laughs> years ago and this heart garland is from ready festive in the table runners from just echo just pulling staple items that I've received in past boxes to create escape like this. If you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, I don't have those items. Or you're looking at this and you're like, it's not Valentine's enough for me. Deck the table, sold out of their Valentine's box in like a blink. It was so impressive. But I do think they have two or three different things like a table runner and something else that is very Valentine's and very cute on their online shop. I have linked that below if you wanna pop over there and take a peek at that subscription box. I have a coupon code for it if you wanna sign up. But they also have the online shop with Valentine's items that you can shop right now as well. Okay, like we're just gonna shimmy over that direction to where my little entry is. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that when we get over there. <laughs> okay, so the last place I thought would be super fun to show you guys is this entry. I don't remember where we left off in December, but I have this topper and I have this like wood slats on the wall coming in. It isn't finished. So these need to go further over. I don't have my wall art yet, but I didn't want that to stop me. I have a tendency if it's not perfect, whatever that means, that I don't want to show it and I didn't want to take away from that today. So I have pieces from Christmas, like our winter boxes, the little houses that like, let's say, light up, still up. I think they look so cute. I have some little bird elements, some little bunny elements. I've got palms from, I don't remember. 
Maybe these are the pomps that came in my Ready Festive and not the other heart ones. I don't remember. I can look it up though and I can pop it up below. But I thought it would be so cute to leave these out during the holiday all the way into maybe even Easter. I'm trying to decide. But they look so cute at night as well, like super therapeutic at night. And then once again, I repurposed a Christmas gift that was given to me. This is the same, like same thing as it was on the tiered tray. The same flowers I've been using for forever. All of these came in my subscription boxes either in 2022 or 2021. I am reusing all of these items and I have to say, we've had a lot of neutral items and I know we've discussed for a bit like, how do we feel about this more neutral palette? But it really can transfer between seasons really well. And then when you add in the more specific holiday themed things, it carries really, really well. I mean, I brought it all the way down here. You can see on the shelves down below how cute it is. And so I want to encourage you guys that if you're hitting this roadblock where you're like, I just don't know, I just don't know, I can't find decor for whatever season, go through your house, through your storage bins or wherever you keep your things, pull everything together and make one big pile. That's exactly what I did. Then once I had the pile, I was like, okay, I know anything with gold tones, I want to be right through here. The gold tones are gonna carry up through here as I finish this. And then that dining table is right there. So these are my gold tones. And then as you float that direction over to where the tear tray and the mantle is, I pulled all the gold tones out. Everything has white, pink, and red in it. And you can literally start by just making a pile, seeing what you have, seeing what you can civic prune and harvest from outdoors, and seeing what you can pick up at your local grocery store to create something so cute, so love-filled and joyful and honoring the budget y'all honoring the budget all right y'all that's it thanks for hanging with me thanks for having a creative valentine's with me i do have linked below these subscription boxes that have saved by tell that are these staple pieces you're seeing we're kind of in like this weird in-betweener where i'm going to share the links to these boxes um a lot of them are in pre-sale meaning they just finished their winter box and stuff and they haven't quite really spring. You can still subscribe if you're like, oh my gosh, I heard her say third in Maine over and over and every time I loved what she grabbed. Go down below, grab the URL, grab the coupon code and you can sign up for those boxes. But if you're like, no, I'm not really necessarily ready to subscribe yet, I'm about to unbox all of their spring boxes. So go down below and subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to see me unbox and review, talk about quality, value, curation, all those things for open boxes all the time. So make sure you subscribe to you miss that. But you can also just go to the online shop. Y'all can shop their online shops and pick up things like deck the table. I will not be showing their Valentine's box because it's sold out. So I may be showing the next one, but for right now you can run to their online shop and shop. Uh, Free Spirit Bundle is the only one that I talked to on the phone today and can confirm they have a few boxes left. So if you like that candle I showed, if you like the candlesticks that were on the table, their items have been sprinkled all throughout this video. Go watch their unboxing, or if you wanna be surprised, don't watch the unboxing, just go down below, grab the coupon code and the URL and sign up. But I have to say, thank you to my subscription boxes for making this possible. Thank you for Hobby Lobby hooking up stuff from like 10 years ago that hasn't changed and it is still available now. You can check those links out below if you wanna check those things out. I find it to be hilarious that Hobby Lobby's curations have evolved like none. And we're all kind of okay with it. Uh, spring home decor is up next. We've got lifestyle and self-care in book boxes sprinkled in between. And I need you to vote. Go down below and tell me, do I, for the first time ever in pink envelope history, attempt to do a St. Patty's decorate with me. I have some, and the only reason I'm even entertaining it is because our staple boxes like Holiday Hall, Ready Festive, and Season House have amazing boxes coming out. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should attempt it. I've never tried before. I love the color green. It goes good with my hair. Obviously just painted my whole office green. So I'm thinking I might try it. But I wonder if y'all are interested. Do y'all do y'all even decorate for St. Patrick's Day? Does anybody decorate for St. Patrick's Day? I don't know, we're about to find out right here. So go down below here. If you want the insider scoop, we are launching 
so many things on our Ask the Pink Envelope private Facebook group. That's a place where we talk about places we love to shop, subscription boxes that we love, places we don't like to shop, subscription boxes that we don't love, all in one group. I'm also gonna start a new thing in February where I'm gonna pin a post that talks about all the community chats, the coffees, the lives, and all of the things that our subscription box owners and curators are doing. I'm not sharing those enough. And if you guys probably didn't realize how many times they're having uh, wine night and coffee mornings and chat with me's and decorate with me's and showing how to use product and where to shop. We, we were very spoiled with some of the best designers and for fashion at home are sitting amongst us right now and I'm just not optimizing it. So I'm rectifying that. You're gonna see a post pop up and it's gonna be, y'all can look at it every single month. You can go and see everything that's happening for the month, where to hang out, where to be, where to drink coffee, ooh, where to drink wine. Are we doing dry January? We're, <laughs> maybe, maybe you optimize that one in February for sure. All right, you guys, I hope that you're having an absolutely love filled day. I have to confess, I keep on love, to say love, but I also feel like I'm just like pointing at my boobies. So this, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed every once in a while I stutter when I do it. So let's just do this. I hope that you're having a love filled day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all. Me? Hello? 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 Mental? Mental? Custy testies! Not like testies, but like testies.